Hi, I'm Andrew. I'm Sarah. And I'm Jack. We are members of the British Telemark team. We're here with the great British Telemark ski team in Rauris in Austria to learn a little bit more about this most unusual form of skiing. Telemark is a fantastic sport. It means you can do all the sorts of things you do on an alpine set of skis, on a Nordic set of skis and on a touring set of skis. It's effectively one set of bindings, one set of skis and one set of boots to do three or four different disciplines. With a pair of Telemark skis and bindings and boots, I can start off at the bottom of the mountain, I can trek myself up, I can carry all the gear I need, I can do my alpine skiing, if I want to do my telemark skiing, that's fantastic too. A uh, bit of free ride, jumping, everything you, you can do on skis, you can do on telemark skis. The beauty of telemarking is that with one pair of skis, you can transport yourself all over the mountain. Put a pair of skins on and you can climb up to find the best powder and then have the ride of your life coming down. Telemark skiing is quite unique where you put, uh, put skins on one of the skis, which used to be seal skin, now artificial. Uh, and you imagine you travel uphill on the, on the skins um, and you get away from the lifts, get away from the crowds. It means you can travel, travel uphill. Go Anywhere skiers need a Go Anywhere vehicle and the team have been supplied with just that for this season. We've got four cars from Mercedes-Benz this year for, uh, for the 2009-10 season uh, to take us to uh, venues on the, on the Telemark World Cup. That's across the whole of Europe and Scandinavia. In terms of uh, the kit we need to carry, it takes everything. Stoves, bivvies, tents, sleeping bags, rucksacks, skis, everything we need to do in a week, a month on the snow, it can take. At Prey Ski in Telemark doesn't mean a load of beers and a spaghetti bolognese. It means a campfire, a tent and a night in the wilderness. Well, the best thing about telemarking is that uh, you know, we're sat here now in front of a fire. We don't need a hotel. We don't need big bags. We don't need food from restaurants and, and, uh, and the like. We can come up into the mountains with what we've got, carrying what we've got, with a pair of boots, a pair of skis, a backpack, a tent, and that's all you need. And that's what this is all about, coming out being with the people you like to be with. And I'm here with the team today after a, a good training session and uh, tomorrow we'll start again. Telemarking is the original form of skiing back in the days when they had wooden skis, leather boots, leather strap for a binding. It's how they transported themselves uphill and it's also how they had to come downhill. Because they couldn't fix those bindings, they had to come down in what we now call the telemark style. Telemark's roots lie in Norway where the technique kept supply lines open in winter. Its claim to fame and the link with Britain came in World War II when the Allies skied a thousand kilometres on a top secret operation. The question um, I always get asked is how, how um, demanding is a ten watt skiing physically? And uh, it is really demanding. It is about conditioning, making sure that you can make those turns every time. It's about a lunge every time you do a turn. And, and that takes a certain amount of um, uh, conditioning to make sure that your thighs are in the right shape, your body, your course ability is in, in the right shape. To, to, get, to get the right feel on the skis. It's very difficult to train for telemark uh, racing because you have to train for four events. That's skating, jumping, alpine skiing and freestyle. Telemarking is a sport on the rise. One day the British team hope it will get the Olympic call-up. <laughs>